Hi guys, it's me, Rowan Huang. <laughs> Glad to come back to broadcast again. I've been having a really lazy week this week. But anyway, um, before I begin, let me first introduce myself. My name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today I want to talk about communica communication or communicating with uh, animal. So animal including all kinds of animal, right? A while back, someone wrote me a question asking me, um, She's very interested in communicating with animal, but people tell her not to do that or suggest her not to do that because uh, believing if she try to communicate with animal, she will most likely attract evil spirit to communicate with her. So therefore, it won't be an uh, animal. Um, before I even get into that topic, I want to clarify where I come from, where I come from now, so you may understand. Um, you might understand everything I say afterward. Um, I said it long ago, um, maybe not on the blog, but on my broadcast over and over again. I, I've been mentioning to be able to communicate with animal. Like we all born psychic. What I really try to say is we all born psychic, whether you believe or not believe in it. I have evidence to prove it. I've been handling a lot of children to validate what I know. So what I'm here to say is we were all born psychic whether you want to be or you don't want to be. If through our environment or our parents' belief or whatever, eventually that psychic power will get taken away because um, either we were convinced we had no need for it or we have, um, it doesn't exist. Whatever reason that is, eventually somewhere between six months or nine months of time, we will make a mental note those, those are no longer needed. Therefore, our psychic power or spirit is slowly taken away. Some adults still have it. The reason they still have it is um, nowadays you don't call psychic power, you call sixth sense. You have better sixth sense than other people. But what I really try to say here is we were all born with this. Why? Because those are the survival skill. Those are the um, nature, our nature. We have to, we have the same nature as every animal has. You know what I mean? So we can sense the weather is coming, it's bad and we can run. <laughs> Like you never know why are animal running because they sense it. We can able to communicate with one another with this kind of sixth sense, you know. So we know what is dangerous for us or what is not dangerous for us. So back to that. If you understand what I really try to say, we were all born psychic. Then you will understand talking to animal is only part of our natural instinct. Does that make sense to you? To be able to communicate with the animal is part of natural instinct. So if you understand that you want to understand that question that you ask me can you communicate with animal because you will attract um, evil spirits that question particular question simply doesn't make sense and if that is not enough to convince you <laughs> it's okay because I've been you know being psychic for too long I can um, say things in a very um, scientific way then you will understand um, my blackboard. When we human, when we human, having a thought, any thought, spawn out, it generate here. How I know? Because I actually see them. It will start almost like, you know, have you ever seen engines start, you know, firing up and then you have like, and it start having like, you know, like seems like power radiating out. When a human have a thought, that's exactly start happening. Due to that thought, where that thought is going, sometimes they will be thinking about their work, sometimes we're thinking about their past, sometimes we're thinking about their old friend, whatever that is, their wife, or what's the dinner, whatever it is. It starts to show up like that. Go wherever you should go. In this shoot out energy, it has very particular, particular way of vibration. That vibration look like this. That vibration look like this. If you look closer, that's exactly what it looked like. It's, it's almost create a tunnel. It's a vibration. Like say, I'm particularly thinking about my husband. Well, he probably feel itchy right now. But <laughs> I'm particularly thinking about my husband right now. Now my thought will start generate and then start create that kind of vibration going toward my husband. It then create so-called tunnel in my vision, in a psychic vision, it actually looked like a tunnel. But when you really look closer, that's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. It's a vibration, safe vibration. 
this kind of this kind of vibration exists when you have a target, what we call target, that you actually have someone, something, someone, or specific, you know, somebody. I don't know. You have a target. When they target, I say this is where your target is. This is where your target, and then your thought. That's where your brain is. That's where your brain is. Start create vibration and hit. Create a tunnel, then we deposit that energy into that target. So in this point, what does that target feel? That target will will have out of blue thought from you, like out of blue. Have you ever had that thought? All of a sudden, you think about your very out of or very random, very out of blue, and you thought about a friend that you haven't talked for twenty years, or if you know whenever, and then. You all of a sudden you think of that friend, and you don't even know why you all of a sudden think of that friend. There's nothing you know associated for you to think of that friend. And all of a sudden, not long after, you actually receive a phone call from that friend, or you actually receive,、um, you know, a mail or something from that friend. The reason of that is because that particular someone, that particular someone, actually deposit a channel into your uh, per, uh, parameter. Or your territory, your energy field, what I call energy field. Then it create you to think about that. Therefore, you you will think about that too. So if you understand that, you will understand when you really want to talk to an animal. What do you do? Is you do have a target, right? Let's say I want to talk to an animal, and then I want to exercise. I want to exercise. Talk to an animal in front of me. Well, now most likely you will you will not be able to talk to them, but you will. You will be able to feel them, right? So then, what you do is then you start creating your brain. Now you understand how vibration work. One day I will come back and talk about various type of vibration. But right now we talk about specifically about communication vibration. Is this is where you are? This is where you target whatever that animal is. It sometimes can be a plant, sometimes can be a tree, sometimes can be flower. I don't care that is. But right now, specific about animal. What do you do is because you start creating thought vibration that look like this, that look like that. Then you know, for psychic, if I look, I stay about ten feet away, it actually look like a tunnel. In this tunnel, is is it possible for other spirit to come and talk to you? Unlikely, because you have a target. You have a very clear target. In what situation a bad or evil spirits will possibly? Talk to you, <laughs> or pretend they were them and talking to you is when you actually don't know where your target is, when you actually don't have a target. You know what I mean? In this case, you don't create this safe tunnel. What you do is you start having a thought that is so random, that is so out of the place, and then you want. You basically craving for any information to come to you. That is, that is the case that most likely you will receive the information that is not from a particular someone because you do not have a target. So when does this happen? When does this happen? Is when you play, you know, Ouija board. Ouija board. Why? Because you never know who that particular someone you're talking to. Well, sometimes. Sometimes people use that for particular someone. That will work. That you know exactly who you're talking to. That will work. Then you create a certain safe tunnel. But a lot of time, people that say they go to、um, pray, they ask him for something, but they actually don't know who that specific someone they are asking information from. They have an open channel, and then they they are allowing any ch- any channel to come to them. So in that case, very likely you may receive the information that is not, not from that particular someone. Very simple. Different is between you have target or you don't have a target. When you have a target, you create a safe tunnel. If you don't have a target, you create an open t- open channel that for anybody to come to you. So in that particular question, now I'm going to come back to your question. In your question, particular question. When I try to exercise talking to an animal, would I attract evil spirit to talk to me? The chance is no, unlikely. Especially if you know what that animal look like, or if you know exactly where it is. You know what I mean? Sometimes I believe that you know, people who just beginner, beginner. 
when you try to talk to animal, you will exercise with the animal in front of you. So if you know exactly where they are, what their energy is, what they look like, where they stand, unlikely practice start with that because you know you can you can um, shorten that distance channel and you know exactly where you come from. When you come from somewhere else, believe it or not, you will know, you will sense it. So back to the question, can you do that? Yes, you can do that. Why? Because that's our natural instinct. We were, we're supposed to burn with that. We just somehow forget about that. So what you are doing is you are simply retraining your muscle back. It's a muscle you already have, but you forget how to use it. So to exercise that, is it dangerous? My, my personal opinion, no. Will you attract evil spirit? No. If you know exactly who you're talking to, unlikely. Or even playing, I know exactly which plan I'm talking to. Unlikely. Understand, if you have a target, target specific someone, you will create a safe tunnel for you to be able to communicate with them. Now it's just a matter of time how you are able to receive it, how you exercise your sen sensitivity muscle to be able to receive that information. So anyway, hope that answered your question again. One day I'm going to come back and talk about various vibrations and then you will be able to apply in various situations and you will understand um, what I'm talking about, I guess. <laughs> so okay, anyway, again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website, ryowen.com. Till then, i talk to you guys next time. Bye.